Hey guys, Lonely Wanderer 365 here today with another video. My first ever PUBG Mobile experience. Um I feel like it's a good game for me. Um I do a lot of movement early game. I, I am outside. Uh sorry, I'm making some noise right now. Um but late game I kinda get campy because towards the end I'm like, oh this is I, I'm one v alling right now, you know. I'm, I'm by my by myself, and I don't want to lose. So it is fun all along the way. Um, I don't know if there's anyone who I ever actually get worried about during the entire game. I just yeah, I, I am learning the controls as it goes, but you know, it is what it is. It's still a good game. I I still think you will like this and you will enjoy. Um, if you're this far into the video already, I hope you've liked at the very least and you are subscribed. That would be very cool of you to do. I put it in the beginning of every video and at the end. Um, I don't like to emphasize it too much because I feel like it's kind of cringe. But I feel like at about a minute into the video, maybe two minutes in... You've seen the content. You, you you figured out at this point if you'd liked it or not. Because I use YouTube. Like so, within the first 10, 20 seconds, it's like, oh, I'm not gonna enjoy this. I'm just not gonna even interact. Like I'm not gonna dislike it because that's I only dislike videos I actually don't enjoy. Like if I if I watch a video and I genuinely am watching it because I don't enjoy it, I'll watch a minute or two and be like, is it me? There's a video about it. Oh, no, the video is just... There's other people that agree with me in the comments. There's a lot of people that agree that this video was just clickbait. And uh, I try not to do that. I try just to put the what I am doing into the video. I'm trying to put the title of the game and what mode I'm playing. And I have no idea how this mic's going to sound because it's not my normal one I use. Um... But I, I hope it works. I hope everything works okay. Um, I've been having a lot of issues with my sound, so I'm sorry if it's desynced a little bit. I don't know why that happened. It shouldn't have, but it did. And it happened in my video I tried to upload on a TikTok. So this whole video is like off by about a second. And um, like the audio is, and you won't really notice it unless you're paying attention to the gunshots. And when I click reload. But. Uh, I also think I need to turn my audio down. More for the video game. And maybe boost my sound of me talking. I, I don't know. I just. I, I'm, I'm new. I'm trying my best. And I'm trying to learn how to. Continue a thought process. Without stopping and saying um. Or something like that. And it's really hard. It's really hard to talk continuously for 21 minutes. Because I will do one or two videos for audio at a time. Like, I'll re just re record the um, video back to back and then export them so I have one video to upload now and then one video to upload later. After about 20 minutes of talking, I don't know what I talked about in the first video anymore. So I don't know if I'm repeating exactly what I just said or if this is a whole new topic and new idea. And it's mostly because I'm real new, so I don't, I, I don't know how to commentate too well. I hope I get better over time, and I hope it's more enjoyable and more enjoyable the more you watch. And if you are subscribed, because I noticed I'm getting views, I just no one's subscribing, so I guess I kind of want to emphasize that a little bit. If you do watch my videos, because if there's at least one or two people who do, who are not subscribed, and... If you have the time to click that little button, that would mean the world to me. Because it means you enjoy the content and you want to stick around. And I, I have a TikTok that does a lot better than my YouTube. But I just enjoy the YouTube because it's a lot longer of a video. And you may not have gotten the full experience from a... I used to do one minute long TikToks. Now I'm more into three minute TikToks that I've been uploading. Maybe two to three minutes. And th that seems to work pretty well. I, I still get views and likes and comments and, you know, good positivity. 
there's nothing bad from a short form video and sometimes it'll be a completely different audio than what I upload on YouTube and sometimes it will be the exact um, clip I just pull off of a already made YouTube video that I just haven't uploaded yet and I'll upload it first on the TikTok so sometimes if you follow my TikTok you'll get a, a, a little early snippet of what the next YouTube video is going to be which I feel like is kind of cool if you're interested in what I do and the games I play like this is PUBG it's not it's not the Call of Duty I normally upload or uh, Pokemon Unite and um because I just saw it was free in the app store I thought you had to pay for it so I never I never downloaded it but I saw it was actually free so it's like oh okay it's, it's not like on the console where you have to pay a like I think it was like 20 bucks to, it's 20 bucks to get it and I don't think it's going to be on the Game Pass any longer. So when I say I camp, um, for the next about 15 minutes, this, this building, I think, becomes mine. No one, no one will take this building from me at any cost. I will die in this building before I give it up. And I, I'm, um, uh, when I play, I have two headphones in sometimes and sometimes i'm just listening off of what my phone gives me so i'm trying to listen with audio but you can't really hear well you hear your own footsteps so i if i want to try and listen with audio i have to not move at all so that's why you'll get periods of time in the video where i'm just kind of standing there doing um nothing but i'm trying to listen around me because i can hear guys like two or three buildings away opening doors so I know there are people around me and the rest of the map is probably or the rest of the final group is probably going to be around me because of how the um the ring set up uh early game and I just took a guess I'm like it's going to be in um a spot that is on a hill I notice most battle royales they will put the end circle on a hill or on a hard to get to location if you're not already there. So if you guess where the end zone is going to be, you get an advantage. And if you guess wrong, you're at a disadvantage. So it's kind of like a 50 50. And I'm, <laughs> and uh, I keep throwing out these energy drinks to try to get people to come look. Like, oh, look, there's extra energy drinks, and that must mean there's extra loot in there. So. I'm trying to lure people in as a trap and especially not looting all the um, weapons and equipment off of their bodies. It's, uh, I, I, I just try to be a little bit sneaky that way and just, you know, try try catch a few people off guard because I catch a lot of people off guard this game. I, I don't know why they didn't kill me. I, 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 th I see it quite a few times where I probably should have been turned to fish fillet or hamburger meat. But they just didn't, and uh, like I said, I, I I enjoy it. Um, I'm not that good yet. I don't think I think I'll get better. I think I'll get better, and once I start playing against better people as well, um, it'll become a more enjoyable uh watch than just having to rely solely on the commentary to carry the gameplay. I want the gameplay to carry my commentary. That's that's what I would like. Ooh, there we go. And I think I hear another guy. So when I record my audio, I don't like to listen to what's going on in the game because I don't like hearing that sound while I'm trying to concentrate. And I hear shooting and all this and doors closing and opening and it's just not easy to pay attention to, so I, I don't listen to the audio. I've already watched the whole thing, and that's how I realized my audio was off. It was off for the whole video. I tried to bring it back, and I also tried to bring it back as close as I could um, on the on the TikTok I made earlier as well, but I ended up cutting a lot of the audio out because there was a big chunk where there was just no audio at all. Like, it didn't... It recorded it on... Like, if I watched the video on my camera roll, it would have it there. But when I try to edit it, 
in any form, it would not be there. It wouldn't upload properly. So I don't know if that's on me for, uh, maybe I changed one of my recording settings. Or if it's just, um, the apps being a little buggy. Because it does do that sometimes, like weird glitches will happen. I thought I saw somebody, and, um, it, I did... But by the time that I started shooting at them, they were over that hill and gone, and I was shooting at their car that whole time. And now I think they're on me. I think they're... Yeah, he made it to my building. <laughs> so the entire time I'm shooting at that car, that guy's walking around that hill out there, and then coming into that door. And there's his buddy that was in the car with him as well. Up to seven, I think it just said. Sheesh. This is, it's, it's a little campy, I know, I, but I'm not sitting in one spot the whole time, at least, at the very least, you know, I'm moving around, I'm making myself a target, I'm checking my surroundings, like, even if I'm not moving at all, I'm looking out that window, I'm looking, I'm checking the peripherals, it's constantly, like, something is going on. But I do consider this camping in any form, like, sitting in a building, just hiding, but also the same thing, I, well, only reason I'm doing this is because I, I've heard stories and I've watched the YouTube videos of soldiers who've come back from Afghanistan and Iraq and they always talk about if you're doing building close quarter combat, you want to have the high ground. You want to be the one aiming down and not having to check for corners and doing that. You just want to be, okay, this guy is going to be walking up this stair or walking to me eventually. All I'm going to have to do is pull the trigger when I see his face or I see a body part. You know what I mean? Instead of having to check for where the enemy is at. You know there's going to be someone coming to you. You just don't know when. The other guy doesn't know where or when. So you have a little bit of surprise on him when you get a uh, advantage from height and uh, just being a little bit more... Because, see, I'm not all the way up the stairs where they expect me to be because they expect me to be running up and down the stairs. No, I'm sitting halfway through, so they don't expect it. See? See? Every time they turn that corner, they're running around it. They're about to try and engage me at the top of the building. No, I think I only go to the top of the building. <coughs> Four, maybe five times in this 15 minutes of me being here. Like, maybe once or twice a minute, I'll go up there and just check it out and see a better view. Most of it's spent either on the first floor or on this little half floor right here. I'm looking out that window. Because you, because when I was running into the building, you can't see into this corner that well. But you can see out of it real well. So anyone who's running up or running around the back of the building, I'll hear them and then I'll see them run by because they won't see me. Because there, there's a door right next to it, that second window right there to the left. There's a door right there. So they're not even checking the windows because it's late game and they... A lot of people expect, oh, if someone was in this building, they would have already shot at me at this point. Or they're camping upstairs, hiding, trying to wait for people. They don't expect this halfway up a staircase camping, waiting for them to open loot bags. Like, they're not expecting that. Or even letting them fully loot and then try reload or something because they think they're safe. All, all they're doing is moving that ammo closer and closer to me so I don't have to walk as far every time I drop the body. It's hilarious. Um, let me know if you guys are sticking around right now, if you've enjoyed so far, um, if you have, I hope you, uh, I hope you finish this video, because we're quarter of the, or two, or 60% through, you got about seven minutes left, I know it seems like a lot, but when I'm playing, it doesn't, it didn't feel like I was in there for because I recorded it, and it was a 30-minute long video. I had to take down, like, just, I had to cut off about nine minutes of just... That's why there's no intro to this, because there's about five minutes of me just wandering around the map, not shooting at anyone. So I guess wherever I dropped, 
there was no one spawned with me. There, there was no one there, it didn't feel like. So I just got to loot that whole area, and I got bored. So I wanted to go find a enemy to fire at. And I did. And we found quite a few enemies at this point. I think I'm in double digits now at 10. Yeah, 10 killed with 21 left. Or 27. Because it's all, um, it's a low resolution image I'm looking at right now. While I'm just going over uh, in my uh, rendering software I use. I use Adobe Rush. I don't know. Adobe Premiere Rush. I don't know if that's, it's the best one out there. I don't know if it's a good one even to some people. But for me, it works. Gets the job done. Um... And there's no uh, marker. I think if if you pay for it, there's no marker. There's no like overlay. I don't even know if you have to pay for it. But that's what's why I've used it so often is because even if there's bugs or graphical issues, they won't happen all that often. And all you have to do is reload the app, like delete it, and then reinstall it. It's a, it's a pretty small app. Even if you don't have Wi-Fi, it's still a small app to use LTE or 5G on. And it's, and it's by Adobe, so most of the work you're doing on the app is done in the cloud. So, a lot of it's not even saved onto your phone. Every now and again, you might have to just delete the app because it does have cached space of where that video you were just editing and you hit delete from device. It won't fully um, overwrite the uh, video's software immediately, or the video's... Um, code immediately and it won't create space on your phone for it so you have to manually do that every now and again which is completely fine all you have to do is remember your sign in or save your password or whatever somewhere maybe write it down who knows if you're using passwords you should know them um, and if you don't know them and because they're so complicated write them down always have a backup you want a backup of a backup if you can but I, I like it I recommend it, and especially just because it's um, it's a company I know, and they also have photo editing if you like to do Instagram. I don't do it as much anymore, so I don't really have it installed even. It was Adobe something for photo editing. I bet you if you just look up photo editor Adobe, it'll be the first one in the app store to pop up. I don't know about Android. There's probably thousands upon thousands of apps you can get for Android that are superior than most iPhone ones I even talk about now. But the iPhone market's like, if you want something that's decent and good and you don't have to pay for it, there's not many options anymore for video editing or even um, voice recording. Like, the only good voice recorder voice recording software you can get is all all cost money there's no good free software anymore that's not a thing that really happens so that's why i like adobe that's just my go-to on pc on the phone or whatever because i i did have a pretty big instagram at one point that had a few thousand followers i just stopped doing it because it got to a point of there was someone who was trying to hack me very often and I'm guessing it was the same person who was just kind of obsessed and I'd change emails I would change passwords, I would change complete accounts and just create new ones and this dude would follow me and try to take over my accounts and it was annoying and I got into contact with Instagram and it was a it was a scam, call center, hack whatever and they alerted the authorities because they were using Instagram's serv servers to run their scams and operations. So, and he was just targeting me specifically because um, I played a game called Mobile Legends. I don't know if you ever heard of that, but their software, whatever they use for um, security is trash and terrible. And I was, that's how they got all my information and were able to keep following me through the internet was through mobile legends they could get onto my phone and they could access whatever they wanted pretty much it was some very big bug that they just kind of glossed over and no one ever called them out for it but i did lose information from it and whenever you beat someone in the game you have their username permanently saved under your account 
because you can always go into your match history and see who you played. So this dude didn't take it didn't take a lot for him just to click on my profile, run whatever uh, bug they had or whatever they used to abuse the um, Mobile Legends uh, weak ass piracy or private privacy uh, laws, not piracy laws, uh, privacy. Yeah, it's it was fucked up. It's it's kind of sad that a very big company that was dealing with having uh, mobile or not um, mobile. What am I talking about? Uh, it's real cold out. About um, just sports teams, pretty much esports teams, and they don't care about the players who play on them. Like they don't. They only care about. Uh, profits on their free game free like it's so they don't they they pretty much copied League of Legends to a T and then profit off of it that's that's all they did was copy the lanes the monsters the jungle everything even some of the characters are just mashups of characters from League of Legends or just ripoffs. Like I think Wu Kong is in Mobile Legends as Wu Kong. Like I, I just think they took his name and his likeness and just ripped it. Anyway, guys, that's my rant for today. Um, MVP, whatever. I won. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see.